Yo, what's going on guys? It's JMS and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. Now, if you already notice, I'm actually in the middle of an abandoned place right now. Normally when I start off my videos, I kind of take it slow. You know, I might start on the exterior of the abandoned place I'm exploring or maybe on the outskirts. Nah, today we're jumping right into it. I wanna just get right into it and show you guys this really sick abandoned place that I'm exploring today. It's actually an abandoned factory and it's more commonly known as the Aerosol Techniques Factory. I'm actually out here in Milford, Connecticut, which is a small town in between Bridgeport and New Haven. And um, I've actually been here before. Last year, I came here in spring 2022. I came here with a friend and I had actually filmed a video for the JMS channel, but I wasn't really that crazy about it. So I decided I'd come back solo and uh, show you guys around this monolithic abandoned location. There's a lot to see here, and as I said, we're just jumping right in today. So I'm gonna show you guys this 176,000 square foot factory, the Aerosol Techniques factory, here in Milford, Connecticut. There's a lot to see, it's a big place. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it, but join me. We're gonna be checking out this, uh, this huge abandoned factory. I'm super excited to re-explore it after a few months. And by the way, before I move on, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Official. That's at JMS Official. I post there pretty frequently. Um, I always post the stuff I'm doing, the places I'm exploring, the sites I'm seeing. So, you know, don't forget to follow me there and uh, let's, let's get on with it. Okay, so a little bit of background information about this place. As I mentioned, this is the Aerosol Techniques Factory here in Milford, Connecticut. And as the name suggests, they primarily produce aerosol products and also plastic bottles and stuff like that. Um, but they are mostly known for aerosol products. Now, this factory actually opened up in the mid-1960s, and it officially closed in the mid-1990s. So it was only in operation for a couple decades, um, but it's been abandoned since the 90s, and now it just sits completely dormant. The interesting thing about this abandoned location compared to others I've been to is it's currently unowned. Like, no one owns this. It's completely up for sale which is actually a good thing because I am not breaking any laws by walking in this place. It's completely public, unowned property. Pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna look around. I'll show you guys this whole dilapidated structure. As I mentioned, it's 176,000 square feet total. It's massive. Obviously, even though this was a factory at some point, most of the machinery, and well, I should say all of the machinery and equipment is gone. Uh, there's none, it's just completely barren walls and ceilings, roofs, support beams, just the uh, bare structure left intact, but all of the machinery and equipment has uh, been scrapped and lost to time. Now the main thing I want to direct your guys' attention to in this location is all of the graffiti, or street art. I mean, you'll see as I walk around, but this place is covered in, art, in artistic drawings, paintings, graffiti. I think the Aerosol Techniques factory has actually become most well known for being a public art display. You know, a lot of local artists and graffitiists come here to show off their work, to, you know, draw and paint. It's pretty cool, actually. And there is a lot of really nice work. Yeah, let's keep going. I'll show you guys around. As I mentioned, you'll see that there is just graffiti everywhere. This whole thing is covered in art. Now, obviously it varies in quality. A lot of the graffiti can probably just be boiled down to random scribbles and, you know, crude obscenities, but there is actually a lot of really nice artwork here too. It's a, it's a mix, you know, like, like all abandoned places, it's a mix. Really cool though. It's actually very similar to another abandoned place I went to recently also actually in Connecticut. It's uh, one of my recent videos on the channel. Uh, I went to the Union Pond Mill in Manchester, Connecticut. It's also similarly used by a lot of local artists as a graffiti museum or a public art display. And this one is pretty much the same, although to a larger scale than the Union Pond Mill. And as you can see, some rooms are much darker than others. Uh, most of this is actually 
quite open. You know, lots of sunlight coming through. But there are some pretty dark, narrow, small rooms in the property. I should also apologize. I don't have too much history to give about this place. Um, finding information about the aerosol techniques factory is actually pretty scarce. Mostly all that's known is that it was opened in the 1960s, abandoned in the 1990s, and ever since then it's been used as a local art gallery. That's about it. You'll also notice it is covered in puddles and water, like everywhere. Uh, we had a pretty bad snowstorm yesterday. Also a lot of rain. I assume that's what most of this is from. And this is actually a peak out on the other building. We're actually gonna get there soon. That building though in front of us is fucking huge. Massive building. I'm excited to show you guys in there. Also a few dumpsters over there. Looks like an abandoned truck or something. I'm pretty excited. Huge property. Now you guys might be watching this asking if this place produced aerosol products, you know, aerosol bottles, cans, and aerosol itself, is it safe to walk around? I would say so. I would actually suggest wearing a mask. I know, hypocritical, I'm not wearing a mask, um, but don't follow my lead. You know, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would still wear a mask here, but honestly, it is pretty wide open. Again, there's a lot of ventilation, a lot of natural sunlight and air uh, coursing through this factory. You know, I, I don't really feel I don't really feel uneasy walking around here. There are definitely a lot of abandoned places where I would highly suggest wearing a mask, you know, to be safe, not breathe in like asbestos or, you know, um, other negatively harmful products in your mouth. But yeah, I think this is actually fine. Um, it's not like this whole place is covered in leftover aerosol. Um, yeah, I think you're good walking around. It's very well ventilated. So now we're gonna be taking a walk along this little bridge here. Pretty cool looking bridge. One thing that's kind of funny too, I wanna to point your attention to, if you can see through the forest, there's actually a Lowe's right there. Now the aerosol techniques factory is literally right next to a Lowe's and a Hilton. That's where it is. You can actually see the parking lot over there. Kind of funny placement. Um, we're gonna take a look in here now though. Pretty cool place. This is inside of the, one of the bigger buildings, actually the largest building. Looks like there's three buildings and this is the bigger of the three. Pretty massive, actually. Again, a lot of graffiti as per usual. Let's take a look down here. I think I was actually supposed to go the other way. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, look at that huge drop right there. You'll also see that this building is in various states of deterioration. I mean, the walls are like peeling away. Parts of the roof are collapsing. But then you have some walls like this that are actually pretty well intact. It's weird. It's like a mix of dilapidation and some of it's holding up well. Okay, I'm gonna turn my flashlight on really quick because it looks like it's gonna get dark down here. Okay, flashlight is on and we've entered the darkness. I don't know if you can hear that well, but there's music playing over there. I think there's other people here, but nothing to worry about. Again, this is a very open area, not too worried. And they seem pretty chill. Got some more rooms down here. This is probably the basement area, the ground level, or the, the lower level, I should say. Holy shit. Look at this, guys. This is fucking massive. I mean, this is what I'm talking about when I say like, when I say huge, this is what I mean, huge. I actually vividly remember this when I came here last time. This was, I think this was the biggest room in the whole property. It is huge. They also have a, some sort of catwalk up here. 
we're definitely gonna try to get up there later. You know, get a good uh, scenic view. Again, there's not too much to really show off because admittedly, this is a pretty empty building. Everything's been scrapped and gutted, but still pretty cool to walk around. And again, you can see by all the artwork and graffiti that, you know, people sort of use this as an impromptu art gallery. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep making our way. I'll show you guys all the rooms. Uh, one thing I do want to mention too, while I'm wandering around aimlessly by myself, is uh, there are 100% other people here. I've now come across several people while I've been walking. I'm just letting you guys know if you come here, be careful. A lot of, you know, this is a very popular spot, as you can tell. A lot of people come here, a lot of people explore. I'm sure most of the time they're nice, but just be careful, you know, lots of people here right now. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, keep my distance while I film, show you guys around. But in general, when you, you know, when you go urbexing and explore abandoned places, there's always good to exercise an air of caution, you know? You never know who's gonna be lurking around. Usually it's just other urbexers. I've never had a problem, but definitely be safe. And I would not advise you to go alone unless you feel very experienced and comfortable doing it. We are currently in another massive warehouse right now. The other one I was in was actually on the other side of this. I'll show you in a second, over there. Uh, that other one was over there. This is the other side. So you have two absolutely humongous warehouse spaces right next to each other. Fucking massive, guys. As I mentioned, 176,000 square feet total. It is huge, this property. Let's see what they got over here. Got a few uh, little rooms. This one looks pretty dark too. Yeah, not too much going on in here. It's also pretty wet. I mean, you can probably see by all of the water trickling, all the puddles, very wet here. I'm sure even in dry times, you know, when there's, you know, when it's like really hot out and dry, I'm sure it still gets wet in here. Yeah, not too much going on in these rooms. And uh, this actually seems to be the back end here. Let's check this out. Yeah, look at this, guys. This is the back of the aerosol techniques factory. Wow, absolutely massive. Let me just walk up a little bit to show you guys a uh, good view of it. Looks like you have a um, garage right here, you know, a truck stop. I'm sure trucks pulled in back in the day. And then you got the exterior right here. I'm just gonna quickly check out this uh, weird building right here. I assume it was some sort of utility shed or maintenance shed, something like that, maybe electrical. I'm sure there's probably not much in here though, but you know, I just wanna look inside really quick. Yeah, just about what I expected. Empty shed. This is another view of the exterior of the aerosol techniques factory. Pretty massive, pretty boxy. You can tell this was um, very, what's the word? It was very, you know, technical. Like it served its purpose, functional. That's what I was looking for. Very functional building. Okay, so funny story while I'm walking over here. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I had come here in spring 2022. I think it was May, I'm pretty sure. April or May. Uh, that was the first time I came here and I was like planning on filming a video. I actually filmed a few clips. I was with my friend and we were walking in this room right here. And there was like a ton of glass everywhere, glass bottles, you know what I'm saying? And as I was filming, my friend actually stepped in. Well, he stepped on a piece of glass and a glass shard completely went through his shoe. <laughs> and it actually cut his, like, foot. It was fucked up. And that happened while I was filming the video. So be super careful if you're walking in this place. You know what I'm saying? Be super careful. You never know what could be lying on the ground, whether it's glass or whatever the fuck. Be careful. That actually happened. And that's actually what prevented me from originally putting out this video back then. But kind of glad I'm being able to do it now, you know, with no interruptions. 
Again, very dilapidated building. You see the ceiling is just completely deteriorated. Probably gonna collapse soon. Pretty crazy shit. And I'm just gonna make my way up these stairs now, see what's on top of this. I don't really know if I can actually like, cause it doesn't look like there's a floorboard here. Yeah, look at this. It looks like the floorboards are just gone. Although I think we can make our way up here. Check this out guys. I do have to be careful because it looks like some of these uh, metal grates are missing. Also, I just want to say, because I just saw this when I was walking up, dude, rest in peace to MF Doom, honestly. I'm a huge fan of MF Doom and can't believe he died a few years ago. Crazy shit. RIP MF Doom. I know I keep saying this, but I really cannot believe how fucking big this place is. We're in yet another massive warehouse right now. You know, another wing. I haven't actually been in this one yet. God damn, it's so crazy how big this place is. Absolutely humongous. I kind of want to see if there's a way to get on that catwalk right there. I don't know if there is. And uh, we're back in that big warehouse uh, space right now, if you're wondering. Uh, I don't know if I can. It doesn't look like there's a ladder. It's also like tilted right there, look at that. Oh, you know what happened? You see that support beam right there, that support beam holding it up? Look at this shit. It completely collapsed on itself and bent. So now you have part of the catwalk that's just bent. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get up there. You know, in a lot of ways, this place is kind of like a maze. I genuinely have no clue where I am. Like, I have no geographic understanding of where I am at the moment. I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering. Uh, they got a lot of plumbing and piping in here. Pretty cool. Metal cage. Ooh, look at this, guys. The first room that actually has stuff in it. Although this looks like it's uh, mostly ventilation equipment. As you can see, they got some huge vents. They also got some vents on the ground. Electrical in there. So this must have been a uh, utility, you know, piping, ventilation, electrical. Got some more of the exterior. Pretty cool. Hey, so I just want to give you guys a really cool but quick update. Um, I was inside, you know, doing some more filming and I came across this uh, group of people and apparently they're actually graffiti artists and they just recently created this piece of art. Really dope. I've, I've mentioned this in so many videos, but I love seeing, you know, street art that actually has effort put into it, like high quality graffiti. And this is a great example of that. Um, their names were Fogs and Drama, as you can see, Fogs Drama. And they actually gave me the souvenir uh, graffiti can, pretty cool. Drama. Of course, you got one of those Futurama aliens or Simpsons aliens. Pretty cool, pretty dope. Um, that, that was cool, you know. There's been a few times where I've met other people at abandoned places and they've been chill. These guys, Fox and Drama, were really chill. Um, they do a lot of, you know, graffiti on abandoned places, but they put, like, high-quality effort into their work, and I really respect that. And I think this is a great piece of art, uh, minus the that shit right there. That's not them. But, yeah, I just wanted to shout them out because I just met them here, and they're actually fans of the channel. They've seen some of my videos, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, shout out to Fox and Drama. Really cool meeting people who've seen my videos and people who put effort into their work. Anyways, I'm going to make my way back here on the other side of the building's exterior of the aerosol techniques factory. I just want to check out this side because I haven't been over here yet. 
Unfortunately, the sun is setting pretty quick though. It's gonna be dark soon. Um, so I'm probably gonna wrap this up very soon. Uh, this is the other side of the aerosol techniques factory. And I assume this is actually the truck dock over here. They probably had, you know, lots of trucks pull in, load up, you know, make deliveries. Again, they produced aerosol, canisters, bottles, all that shit here. They probably had a very hectic delivery schedule, I assume. But this should put into perspective how fucking massive this place is. Again, monolithic structure. Now let's go up to it and see what we can see what we can see, you know. Lots of cool graffiti here too. You know, I, I love seeing love seeing good graffiti. I think I was already in this room. Let me just peek in. Sorry if I don't know exactly where I am. This is just a very, uh, very confusing building. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is one of the massive warehouse spaces I was in. I've already been in here. You know, let's go check out that truck and all that stuff over there. I'm kind of curious about that. You know, guys, all this walking around is getting me pretty tired. I think I'm going to go take a little nap in the hot box hut right here. I, know, I thought that was pretty funny. Random ass hole in the ground telling me to jump. You'll love seeing shit like that at abandoned places. All right, really quick, I'm gonna take a look at this truck here, an abandoned truck. I don't know if we can get inside yet. I hope we can, looks pretty cool. Abandoned vehicles are always a charm to find at places like this, you know what I mean? Oh, let's see if it's open. Oh, it is sick. Lots of scrap metal, it looks like. Bicycle, all that kind of thing. You know, let me see if I can put my trophy graffiti can right there. Let me see if I can go up really quick. Okay, my video turned off when I jumped in there, <laughs> but really not much in there, but you get the point. Abandoned truck, pretty cool. Or abandoned trailer, I should get that right. That's a trailer. Um, then we have these buildings. Well, one building, another trailer here. Just gonna check that out really briefly. This looks like another electrical, you know, utility thing right here. Not too much going on. And then we have another abandoned trailer. Not sure if this is open. Yeah, seems sealed shut. Yep, it's locked. They're trying to keep us out. Got another bike here too. Really tempted to ride that, but I think I've ridden I think I've rode enough bikes in abandoned places in Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, pretty massive place, guys. Actually, you know what? Let's check that out really quick. And then I think I'm going to make my way back to the very front. And then I think we've seen about it for the aerosol techniques factory. All right, looks like we have another abandoned building here. I assume at one time you probably had some sort of attendant working in here. And as trucks would pull in to make deliveries or load or whatever, they came down this road and an attendant stood in here and, um, you know, checked their badge or their delivery forms or whatever. Pretty cool, guys. Although this floor is fucking sketch. Look at that holes everywhere, deteriorating wood. I don't know if I want to step on that. But yeah, guys, I think that's really about it for the aerosol techniques factory in Milford, Connecticut. Really cool though, honestly, really cool place. It might be barren, it might be empty, but it's fucking massive. There's a lot to see. And the graffiti art here is top notch. If you like graffiti and you like seeing public street art, definitely check this place out, it's really cool. Just a genuinely cool place to walk around. Though, as I mentioned, lots of people here. Just keep an eye out. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. This time at the abandoned aerosol techniques factory in Milford, Connecticut. Now this is a really cool one to explore for a second time. I mean, this place is absolutely massive. So much warehouse space, so many buildings. It's fucking huge, 176,000 square feet of space. Really huge place. 
Um, but I had a great time checking it out. I hope you guys did too. And as you saw, and as you can still see, this place is really famous for its graffiti. You know, lots of public art on display here. I think that's what really makes it unique. And you know, it just goes to show that you can take something that's been abandoned, something that's no longer in use and give it a second purpose. You know, to me, the graffiti is like breathing a new life into a neglected, um, a neglected creation. You know what I mean? It's giving it a new purpose. Pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, I've been JMS as always. Aerosol Techniques Factory, Milford, Connecticut. And of course, before I forget, shout out to Fogs and Drama for first off giving me this really cool uh, trophy graffiti can, but also for being fans of the channel and producing really great high quality graffiti art. Shout out to them. Anyways, I've been JMass. Follow me on Instagram at JMass Official. That's at JMass Official. And I'll catch you guys on the next New England adventure. See you later.